unstable now, that's what the experts say. They say a meltdown's possible, but it's safe enough to stay. Well, this kind of stability ain't safe enough for me. I'm gonna pack up all I can and move my family. No new blues, no new blues, no new news, no new news, no new blues, no new blues, no new news, no new news, it's time to choose, refuse to lose. And some good news is that on Sunday, 73 Japanese mayors, former and current mayors of cities in Japan, were out demonstrating to shut nuclear power down permanently in Japan. Um, in the 70s, when the anti-nuclear movement was doing so much to stop these plants, we didn't know uh, how lucky we would be at this point that accidents haven't happened. And we didn't know that without government subsidies, uh, they, they couldn't have been operating all this time because uh, you could buy energy cheaper on the open market than you could uh, mm -hmm. but for the government subsidies and we didn't know that a disaster would cost 720 million dollars if it happened and the price anderson act only allows 12 and a half billion uh insurance i, I hope i said 740 billion okay so i didn't plan to say any of that um the resolution to decommission California nuclear power plants and transition to green non-nuclear power sources was passed by the Peace and Justice Commission prior to the shutting down of San Onofre due to safety concerns stemming from the malfunctioning of the plant's steam generating tubes tubing in January. It calls on Governor Jerry Brown to exercise his powers to direct the California Public Utilities Commission to call for replacing reactors with clean and renewable energy generation by the end of the current licenses of California's nuclear power plants at Diablo Canyon and at San Onofre, thereby sending a clear signal to Pacific Gas and Electric Company and Southern California Edison that the state of California intends to use its jurisdiction to protect its economy and the reliability of its energy sources. The direction of the resolution towards state agencies is premised on the economic and reliability issues posed by these plants, as the safety issues are in the jurisdiction of the Federal Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The resolution also urges President Obama and the NRC to reverse their support of nuclear power, stop loan guarantees to the nuclear energy industry, shut down nuclear facilities operating in seismically active areas of the United States, establish moratorium on building new nuclear reactors, and invest in clean renewable energy. It insists that the NRC withhold license renewal for Diablo Canyon and San Onofre nuclear power plants until seismic issues and off-site permanent storage are resolved. We know those issues will never be resolved. The resolution comes at a time when San Onofre is still shut down due to its malfunctioning and a U.S. appeals court in New York has said that the NRC cannot license or relicense any nuclear power plant until it examines the dangers and consequences of long-term on-site storage of nuclear waste. No one commissioned offshore seismic studies before Diablo Canyon was licensed. PG&E Chairman Frederick Mielke said that, quote, Experts we dealt with did not think that any further analysis offshore was necessary beyond what had been done onshore. One reason the company did not look offshore was disclosed in a memo by PG&E's chief geologist who decided to forego further seismic studies because of the, quote, risk of uncovering geologic structures which could lead to additional speculation and possibly de delay the plant, like the earthquake faults that have been found within a couple of miles there since. Diablo Canyon has a his history of serious design errors, over 3,000 design and construction flaws. The NRC admitted to falsified documents regarding Diablo Canyon's construction, design, and safety violations. None of the speakers here today have enough time to explain everything that is wrong with nuclear power, but you will hear enough to convince you that we need to put an end to it. Europe is decommissioning 150 nuclear power plants. Former Prime Minister of Japan, Naoto Kan, recently said, that he wants Japan to discard nuclear power and that the Fukushima incident had pushed Japan to the brink of national collapse. We have seen over the last few decades that many plants have had design flaws and construction flaws and errors. Seismic studies have purposely not been done when the utility companies knew there was reason to do them. There have never been responsible and realistic evacuation plans because they are impossible to implement. They're not real. San Onofre has a 10-mile evacuation zone, yet the United States said that there needed to be a 50-mile evacuation zone in Japan. 
The nuclear industry is built on fraud, lies, deception, ineptness, greed, and a lack of concern for human and other life on this planet. That's right. It has a history of cutting corners at the expense of the welfare of the public. It is time to permanently scrap nuclear power. The, the cities of San Clemente, Irvine, Laguna Beach, and other coastal towns in Southern California are call, calling for not relicensing, decommissioning, or not restarting San Onofre due to safety and economic concerns. And we're talking about some Republican city councils and mayors. The Ventura County Democratic Party wants to phase out nuclear power. The town of Fairfax wants to shut down San Onofre and Diablo Canyon permanently. In light of all this, the Berkeley City Council should urge Governor Brown to not let San Onofre ever start up again and to shut Diablo Canyon as soon as possible. It is too risky to let it run until its license expires. We know too much. To combat the risks of pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases, people practice safe sex. Why are we demanding that our state practice safe energy policies to combat the risk of nuclear annihilation? No news.